Hi there, it's Phil here from UNE Voyager Discovery Online. Well, today we're going to be looking at what things around home can actually make some sounds for us. Or we can make musical instruments from various things. Or things that make funny sounds. What I'm going to show you how to make today is something that's called a clucking cup. Do you have chickens at home? Well, we can do that without doing our vocal cords. We can use it by just having, using a cup, some string, a paper clip, and some sticky tape. So it's called a clucking cup because we're using a cup and we're going to try and make it cluck. So if you want to go and grab yourself some string, a cup, some sticky tape and stuff, then pause this and we'll see you shortly. Okay, so here we have it's a very simple construction, but it makes a great sound. First thing we need to do is get our cup and we're going to put a little hole in the end of it so we can thread the string through it. Now, you can use the paper clip on a paper cup, but with the plastic one it's a bit harder. So carefully using a pair of scissors, just punch a hole in there, make it big enough so we can put some string in. Next thing is grab some string, probably an arm length like that will probably do. And then thread it through the hole carefully. And pull it through. Hope I can do this carefully. Then what we do, take a paper clip, tie it onto the paper clip. This is to stop it from pulling through the hole. And like so, tie a knot, double knot. Hopefully you're cleverer than me doing that sort of thing. Then grab a piece of sticky tape, place it over it because we're going to stick it down to the bottom. So then pull the string back through and put that in there, hopefully on the bottom, like so. We have just the string there and now what we do is pull the string might sound a little bit like a chook now, mightn't it? Now, you might have a bit of trouble making that sound. Now, one way to make it even better is if you get a wet cloth. Grab it around the string. Yeah, that's made it sound better, doesn't it? Now you can do this with various sized cups and different types of string as well because that might give you a different sound. Here's one I constructed earlier with a thickest string. Let's see if what sound that makes. Do you think it sounds the same or does it sound different? So what's causing the sound? Well we have that when we're pulling on the string, the friction causes the string to vibrate. And when the string vibrates, it passes on the vibration to the cup and it's making the cup vibrate. And this, it's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> so, there we go with the vibrations. Right. It's been good then. Hope we'll see you again next time and blah, 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 blah. enjoy your chickens.